let's go ahead and get started. Again, find yourself a cozy area, get yourself a pen and some paper, and I'll share each step with you so you can go ahead and write that down. If you feel like you wanna pause the video real quick and reflect on the question that I gave you, you can go ahead and do that also. Um, but again, the, the handout is provided for you in the link below. You can also find the um, handout on my website at heatherbaxter.com. And again, you will find that in the blog area. If you hit my blog right now, my whole blog is on the series of setting goals, dreaming bigger, and learning um, all the steps that we need to take in the next several months. So you will find that handout free for you right there. I also have a tag on my website that says freebies. You may find that handout right there also. So I put it in so many places. I want you to get this, I want this to get in your hands. So you just have the the um, visual of what I want you to begin working out as we walk into the new year. For, for those that are joining right now for the first time, it's two th we're getting ready to go into 2017, a new year. So again, you could be watching this later on in 2017, you could be watching this in 2020. Whatever brings you here today, we're here because we're gonna learn to set goals. We're not gonna stay stuck in the season that we're in. We're not gonna stay stuck in the circumstances. We're gonna get out and we're gonna learn to persevere and move forward. Did you know when you begin to persevere and you begin to set goals and you begin to be more persistent, you build your character. And when you build your character, you begin to find some hidden passions that are inside of you. And those passions will lead you to your dream. And so it's really important to really learn about setting goals, writing different lists, and watching this all come together. It's really your story. So I'm really excited to get you from point A to point B, no matter what season you're in right now or what the circumstances are. So let's go ahead and start off. So the first question that I have on the handout, oh wait, at the top of the handout, I love what I put down. It says, she decided to start living the life she imagined. Key word is imagined, circle that word. Because sometimes when we dream, we think of what could be and should be, but it's not necessarily the reality of our situation. That's a dream, what could be and should be. I remember dreaming way back about 10 years what my marriage could be and should be. And that developed into a dream. And so dreams aren't something that you just go to sleep and they're like way off the board. Dreams are reality based. And they're often something that seems so damaged and so ruined. Sometimes we need to put in words what could be or should be and write that down and that becomes a dream. That is going to be a whole nother series that's coming up. It'll be a 10 minute area for you to learn to tackle some areas and write out what could be or should be. So stay tuned for that series. It'll be coming up soon. So for today, let's imagine some things and get our mind working in seven areas. Number one, write three things that you did great in 2016. First question, three things you did great in 2016. And the reason why I'm asking you that is because many times we walk into the new year setting resolutions and we don't focus on what we did great in the past year. We focus maybe on the misery mile markers and not really the little miracles, the tiny miracles, because they're there all the time. So I want you to just kind of think of three things that you did great in 2016, and go ahead and write them down. For me, it was learning about the word habit and really beginning to journal about specific habits in my life, and I stayed very consistent on that. So um, that's just one of my three things. Number two, I want you to check the areas in which you excelled in. And you will notice on the worksheet that I gave several word examples. So the action verb that I have in this sentence is check the areas that you excelled in. What were you really good at? What did you gain knowledge in? And I want you to go ahead and check those areas. So you'll see I have things on relationships. I have things on health. I have things on a food diary. I have things in the area of spiritual, emotional. What did you excel in? Now I went ahead and I put social media. Now you might laugh in that area, but listen, in order to film and inspire you with the success while building the faith, I have to learn a lot about all the gizmos and the gadgets in social media, and that is not easy. Well, that is something that at the beginning of last year, when I was um, kind of nudged by some mentors that I needed to do this and that and that, the first thing I said was, I can't. 
And the reason why I said I can't was because I had no knowledge. So how can you excel if you had no knowledge? Well, I remember a mentor saying, you don't arrive. It's baby steps. Little by little by little, you begin somewhere. Do you know some of the most successful people started their businesses and they had not one thing? They began to study and, and dissect and research those areas where they became wiser and they begin to excel in that area. So I want, I want you to just think of the areas that you excelled. Maybe at the beginning of 2016, you were in a place where you thought this could never happen. You had the I can't going on. So where did you excel? I want you to write those areas down and really ponder those. Number three, I want you to jot down areas that need more attention in 2017. This is a really important question. Jot down the areas that need more attention in 2017. I'm going to call this the brain dump. This is time to really just, like I said, get in that cozy chair, get your coffee, and brain dump on a piece of plain paper. Now, I gave you, again, some lists. I gave you some uh, um, ideas. But now I want you to take those ideas. So maybe it was finances. Maybe it was um, the area of your spiritual life that needs more attention. Um, maybe it's in your relationships. Maybe it's in um, your well-being, whether it be um, your health, your weight loss goals, your eating habits. I mean, we can break that down. So again, I want you to find maybe one main title. So let's just take, for example, the area of spiritual. So if you're gonna take spiritual, then go ahead and bring down several areas that you feel needs more attention. How? Just begin to just throw things down on paper. There's no rhythm to this method. It's just dumping. And I'll show you what you're gonna do with that brain dump at the end. So begin to brain dump in areas. So for me, what I do at the beginning of the year is I take different topics and then I brain dump under those topics what needs more attention or how. Maybe home improvement, maybe managing your home. You can look at that, but brain dump all the areas in there, and I'll show you what we'll do because it can seem overwhelming. Let's let, let it be overwhelming at first. Begin to brain dump it all. It's okay. It's healthy, and I'll show you why. So number four, write three things you want to zoom in on to improve. Write three things you want to zoom in on to improve. So let's go back to the brain dump that you just did. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves and create more anxiety by saying, look at all of this. Look at all of these areas that I really need to pay more attention to. What I want you to do now is grab three and zoom in. Bring three down and write it down that you need to improve on. So if it's home management, bring that down. We'll zoom in on the details later. If it's home management, bring it down. If it's your relationship and your marriage, bring it down here. If it's your finances, bring it down. If it's um, your spiritual life, tack it on down. Only three. I want you to pick three specific areas that you're going to want to zoom in and work on improvement. Now for me, this year, I know I'm kind of tossing some things around. I'm using some more action verbs to go with a couple main topics that are already my main focus. So a few that I put down was consistency, out of my comfort zone and eating proportions. I know that is one that I really want to tackle. So I'm writing some areas down um, on how I fail in that area. So it's just, again, it's a brain dump, but I'm zooming it in. So write three things you want to zoom in on. And then again, in the series later, we'll talk more about that. This is just getting your mind moving. You're starting to attack some things. You're starting to stretch yourself. So nothing big here. Just write three things you want to zoom in on and improve. Number five, jot down the areas you need to start and stop in order to achieve goals for 2017. So what I mean by this is there are several areas in our life that we need to stop and there are several areas in our, in our life in which we need to start up in order to achieve some of the goals in 2017. So there's a stop and a start method, a stop and a start method. So I want you to kind of go ahead and think about some areas that you need to stop and list them and some things that you need to start and list them. And maybe look back up at the three things that you want to zoom in and improve. And that's going to kind of um, stem off of that area. Your start and stopping is going to stem off of that. So let me give you an exa example. For me, with um, being more consistent in my um, product, my product 
activity. Um, in order to do that, one of the things that I felt like I needed to stop was my social media during the day. Now, I know many are probably going to laugh at this, but here's what I'm saying. I need to put my phone in a timeout and set my timer for 30 minutes, and I need to work very faithfully and very consistently with no interruptions for 30 to 40 minutes. Now, you may seem like, that might seem like, you know, really, that's like no time. Maybe it should be like six hours. I'd, you will you would be amazed how many times you look at your phone, look at your updates, um, play on Snapchat. I'm being honest with myself here. So yours could be very different. Please don't judge me. But I'm saying that I'm going to be setting, I'm going to stop and set my phone aside um, during the weeks that I'm really tackling my goals. And my phone will not be around when I'm doing work goals, when I'm making documents, when I'm working on my um, second book, which will be coming out in the fall, Allure which we'll talk about a vision board in one of my next series, but this is going on my vision board. I actually made a copy of the book, so it's sitting in front of me, but writing is going to be a big goal that I gotta tackle this year, and I'm gonna have to hide the phone. It's going in a timeout so I can get some serious writing down, because otherwise I'm like grabbing it and taking a peek, or who texted me, or Snapchatting my kids, I'm being serious. So for me, I am going to stop, and I'm gonna put time limits on my um, on my phone. So. Again, what are your stops and what are your starts? I want you to really think about that. Take time and write those down. Number six, write down your word for the year. This is my favorite one. Write down your word for the year. Maybe you need to go and look up a word list. You can Google those and it'll give you a list of words, a list of action words. And sometimes that helps. Maybe maybe um, you need to release. You got to work on releasing. Maybe there's forgiveness. Um, maybe there's a healing in certain, there's a certain word. Um, and I am encouraging you to maybe ask God, whether you're new to the faith or you, you're, you know, if you're saying it's not your thing, I'm going to challenge you for the first time to just ask God to dump that word in your mind and watch what happens. I can't even wait to hear the comments below if you, if you, um, if you take me up on that challenge. I did that last year and the Lord dumped in my mind the word habit, the word habit. Um, and basically, he was letting me know in a kind and loving way that that was a little bit of a weakness. And in order for me to get stronger with the goals and the dreams that God laid in my heart, I needed to have a routine and a habit in place. And I'm here to tell you that I have faithfully learned the routine that works for me. And I have been at it since last year. And I have learned a lot about the word habit. And so that is something that I'm excited. I've excelled in that. Have I arrived? Not at all. But I've gained knowledge. I've gained wisdom. And I've attacked that area of my life. And so habit is important. It's not always easy and it's not fun, but it is very important if you're going to achieve your goals and you're going to go to the next level. So again, what is your word? Write it down and then explain why. You'll see on the handout that I say why with a question mark. Write it down and explain why. Number seven, the last and final question is, write steps on how you're going to move forward. Write steps on how you're going to move forward. Again, you might have to take some of those lists, those three things that you zoomed in, and again, make three separate lists and write three things now on how you're going to zoom forward in each one. Maybe if you're just starting, you're only picking one area and um, with everything that I shared. If you picked three, maybe you only want to zoom in on one thing on how you're going to um, write steps on how you're going to move forward. Again, for me, I have three different areas. So maybe you wrote finances, maybe you wrote spiritual, and maybe you wrote um, emotional or wellness. What are the three areas in which you're going to move forward? Now, I know last year when I was talking about the word habit, one of them was getting to the gym and making it a consistent habit during the week where I actually had to tr um, track it. And so for me, I use a tracker system. You will also be learning about this in one of my series. I'm going to be sharing my um, my um, management uh, journal, and I'm going to be sharing my personal journal, and then I'm going to share my daily journal. So I have three different ones that work all different. But in my daily journal, I have a tracker, an exercise tracker. Do you know how important it is for me to go to bed, pull out some of my coolest pens, and track and write that, you know, kind of make that really cool mark that it was accomplished and write what I did. And then I track my um, my water intake 
because my doctor had said, you know what, keep your water up, especially women going through different seasons and change, water is important. And so I had a tracker, I have a little tracker with eight water glasses and I fill in at the end of the evening how many I had. So there's something about tracking, there's something about visual that's put down on paper that motivates you to go. 98% of your success rate is because you wrote it down, it's on paper and you're tracking it. So I'm going to share. Yes, some of my journals that you see posted on Snapchat are, they're my fun journals. My fun ones sometimes have stickers in them. But let me, let me tell you, I have my tracker journals, I have my serious journals, and I'm going to show you more of those daily routines. I'm going to show you more of those inserts so you can understand. I'll also share the websites I get them from. I'll share everything on there. I mean, I've got trackers for grocery shopping, trackers for all of that. You may be doing all these on apps on your phone. I'm one that likes it, like to write, I like to write it down and have it in front of me. So that will be one of the series coming up. So again, that final step is write how you're gonna move forward. Is it gonna be a tracking system? Is it gonna be a journaling system? What are you gonna do to move forward? How are you gonna keep yourself accountable? Are you gonna get an accountability partner? Are you going to grab a coach? Now, those that are looking for a coach in 2017, if you go to my website, you will see coaching services. I offer coaching services for many different areas. I also offer services for specific areas in which I struggled and found freedom in. And so I have packages there. Don't let the prices fool you. I will work with each person individually. Um, again, insurance is not even a thought because insurance is is is. It's really hard for some people right now because insurance is, are not even covering half of this. So I work with you. Um, again, I have my license. I have my degree in that. Um, I'm going to step forward a little bit more with that this year. So check out my coaching packages if you're interested in an accountability partner. Um, partner. Last and final thing on this piece of paper is write yourself a letter. I want you to write a dear me letter because on the days where it gets hard and you feel like, hard and you feel like quitting and you want to give up, write a letter why you chose to do this. Why did you zoom in on this? Why did you, what did you talk about on the start and the stop? What areas did you look, look at what you wrote down and then write yourself a letter because you may need to pull that letter out in the middle of the year. You may need to pull that letter out when you're really struggling in your marriage or you're really struggling emotionally. I want you to pull that letter out and read that letter out loud to yourself. There's something that happens there. I have my letter and then I tuck it right in my journal. I write that letter right at the beginning of the new year on the areas that I know are weak, but I know by God's grace when I, when I partner with him, he will make things that are weak. He will strengthen them and build character and allow me when he's ready to open the doors more for my dreams and passions. So again, the enemy wants to steal all that away from you. So write that letter um, that's just dear me and talk to yourself a little bit on those hard days. I hope you enjoyed these seven steps. Um, if so, give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. Press the little bell on the right because then it notifies you when I've posted a new um, video. And again, I think I've got about seven or eight videos to the series of goal setting and dreaming bigger. So I'm excited to go on this journey with you. Let me know if this helped. Leave a comment. I'm really curious about what your word is going to be for 2017. So thank you, blessings, and I hope you liked this.